You won't believe what happens when someone pours jet oil into a normal car engine, and trust me, the result is nothing like what people imagine. Jet engines and car engines may both burn fuel, but the oil they use is completely different. Jet oil is designed for extreme temperatures, high pressure, and insane RPMs, something a normal engine simply cannot handle. At first, everything looks normal, the engine starts, it idles, it even revs. And that's exactly where people get fooled. Jet oil doesn't break down as fast as normal engine oil, but that doesn't mean it protects the engine better. Within minutes, the oil becomes too thin for car pistons and bearings. It slips past seals, fails to lubricate properly, and the engine temperature begins to rise fast. Jet oil is made for turbine engines, not piston engines. So instead of protecting, it actually starts damaging. You begin to hear tiny knocking, metal rubbing, then the RPMs fluctuate. The engine sensors get confused because the oil pressure becomes unstable. Slowly, the lubrication film breaks, friction increases, and the engine starts overheating. And then comes the worst part, jet oil doesn't have the detergents and additives that car engines rely on. So carbon buildup forms faster, sludge spreads, and the engine's moving parts begin scratching each other. The longer it runs, the more permanent the damage. Most engines that try jet oil for experiments end up with worn bearings, damaged piston rings, and sometimes complete engine seizure. All because an oil designed for aircraft turbines simply cannot do the job of motor oil. So the next time someone says, jet oil is stronger, it must be better, remember, an engine is only as good as the oil made for that engine. Wrong oil doesn't make a car powerful, it silently destroys it.